Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. We are here because we want to learn how to how to solve algebra word problems. Today we'll do, today we'll start with problem number forty nine. Problem, as you can see, is already on the blackboard. It's a very simple, very straightforward problem dealing with the U.S. money. Now, for those for those of you who are who are watching this video, if you happen to be one of those people who is watching this video outside the U.S., and if you're not quite familiar with the terminologies, these terms here, the the terms that are used in the U.S. money system, for those for if, if you happen to be one of those people, I recommend that you watch this particular video in the series of basic math. Basic math day 15 is where we spend the money where we spend the time to learn about US money. Watch that video first in the event that you are not familiar with any of these terms here. The question is, a man has certain amount of, a certain, a certain amount, a certain number of pennies, some nickels, some dimes, and some quarters. The question is, how, how will we express this amount of money that he has in terms of dollars? Let's get going. Let's see what we can do. First question first. How do we convert pennies into dollars. If we have 50 pennies, if you have 50 cents, how do you convert it 50 cents? Of course it's half a dollar. Why is it half a dollar? Because you're going to take your 50 cents and divide it by 100 cents for a dollar because that, that's how many cents we have in a dollar. The cents are going to cancel out and we're going to end up with a dollar on the top and 50 divided by 100 is half. It seems pretty, it seems pretty stupid for me to explain such a simple thing but that's what it is. We have to divide that by, by 100. Whatever, however many we have, how, however pennies we have, we have to divide those number of pennies into uh, uh, by 100 to convert these pennies into dollars. That's all it is. How many pennies do we have? We have p pennies. So p pennies, when converted into dollars, is going to be p over 100. We have n nickels. How many nickels do we have in a dollar? A dollar has 20 nickels because each nickel is 5 cents and therefore 100 divided by 5 is 20. I'm again, I'm explaining too much. So it's 20 nickels. In other words, if you want to convert nickels into dollars, we need to divide by 20. For example, if you ask me, if you tell me that I have 10 nickels, if you have 10 nickels, you need to divide that by 20, 10 divided by 20 again is half a dollar. Of course, 10 nickels, if you have 10 nickels, you have 50 cents, and 50 cents is half a dollar. So you have to divide the number of nickels by 20 to convert it into dollars, because there are 20 nickels in a dollar. Similarly, we have D dimes, and since there are 10 dimes in, 10 dimes in a dollar, you divide it by 10. And then we have Q quarters, we need to divide that by 4, because that's how many quarters make up a dollar. That's it, you're done, that's your answer. This is how many dollars we have. We were being asked to convert this amount into dollars, and we have done so. We have done so. The answer might be presented to you in this form, or it might be presented to you in a little bit of a different form, because remember, after all, we're preparing for multiple choice exams. It doesn't matter which exam you're preparing for, whether you're preparing for SAT, SET, GRE, GMAT, HESI, where is HESI, HESI, TEAS, these are all multiple choice exams. Most likely it will not be presented to you in this form. Let's see what we can do here. Let's take out, let's, 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 let's take out 100 as a common factor. Let's take out 100 as a, 1 over 100 as a common factor. When we take out one, 1 over 100 as a common factor, what we're going to end up with is P plus 5N plus 10D plus 4Q. Oh, not, not 4. It'll be 25. 25. That's it. Because what's this, essentially what we're doing is we're converting the denominator into 100. So in order to convert this into 100, we have to multiply top and bottom by 5. In order to convert this into 100, we have to multiply top and bottom by 10. So we end up with 10D. In order to convert this into 100 at the bottom, we have to multiply top and bottom by 25. So we end up with 25 Qs over 100, 10Ds over 100, 5N over 100, and P over 100. So we take out 1 over 100 as a common factor, and we are left with P plus 5N plus 10D plus 25Q. That's how many dollars we have. Let's do one more, shall we? Let's do one more.
the answers on the multiple choice exams are always presented in, it, in, in their most simplest form. And if you can simplify it, if you can present it in a more elegant way, they will do it. It will not be presented to you like this. It will be written something like this, which is what confuses people, because they cannot make a proposition from there to there. Or if they can, they forget to do it. A bill was shared equally. This is number 50. A bill was shared equally among n people. Total bill was D dollars and Q quarters. What was each person's share? We're not quite done yet. What was each person's shares in terms of pennies? In other words, how many pennies did each person pay? We have to express our answer, not in terms of dollars, not in terms of quarters, but in terms of pennies. How, was, how much was the amount? So the total amount was, the total amount for the bill was D dollars and D dollars and Q quarters. Before we do anything at all, before we do anything at all, let's convert this thing into pennies because the final answer has to be expressed in terms of pennies. So let's convert this total amount into pennies right away. And once we have done that, we're simply divided by the number of people we have. Because we are trying to figure out the share of each person, we just divide by the number of people and we'll have the amount per person expressed in terms of pennies. D dollars is the same as 100 times D pennies. 100 times D pennies plus Q quarters is 25 times Q. And this is how many pennies we have. This is expressed in terms of pennies. So this is our total amount expressed in terms of pennies. We divide by the number of people we have, which is N, divided by the number of people we have, and then we'll have pennies per person. Pennies per person. That's it, we're done. Again, in the exam, the answer is not going to be presented like this. We have 100 here. We have 25 here. We have a common factor of 25. We need to take out the common factor of 25. Take it out common, and we'll end up with 100 divided by 25 is 4, 4D plus Q over M. Now this is how it will look like in the exam. 25 over N, maybe, maybe they'll write it like this. Maybe simply they'll write it like this. 25 over N times 4D plus Q. 25 over N times 4D plus Q. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? I know.